Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be talking about deadening materials and deadening. Uh, this is our SEMA uh, project vehicle. This will be uh, uh, this is being built for SEMA. And so right now I am uh, doing door deadening. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just working on the doors today. Uh, what we have here are three products I will be using in here. This is the expert, uh, standard expert material, which is a deadening material with an aluminum back, um, all in black. Uh, and the aluminum is there for uh, to uh, reflect heat, uh, such as coming from the outside of the door or from the roof, uh, or even like the tunnel, uh, the heat and the tunnel and stuff, which I'll explain later on. Then, of course, we have the dampening material, which is a heavy foam material with a with an adhesive back on it that's used to, to dampen materials and then of course we have the ultimate and the ultimate is basically these two products in one so you've got a deadening material with also a dampening pad on top of it now those are to be utilized in two different ways uh, the reason why I'm using all three of products is to do the door correctly um, I would need all three of these products to do so so here in the door let's see that so here in the door, let me grab a, a light so you guys can see, because uh, currently right now this is incredibly hard for you to be able to visually see. I'm just going to place this inside the door for you. Alright, so the outside skin, or the inner skin I should say, has already been deadened. Uh, this, is, you know, this is using the aluminum and, and adhesive, uh, the aluminum material, uh, and so this is all dampened. You can hear that uh, inside the door, <coughs> inside the door cavities, uh, you got above and below. Okay, and so you've got you know, inside the car, you've got a brace that runs all the way across. And so here, what we got going on? Let me see if I can get this light put right here. So this is the dampening pad. Uh, this is the ultimate pad actually. So this is the deadening material and dampening material at the same time. The upper portion of the door and lower portion of the door were first deadened. So you've got deadening material up here and deadening material down here up and below the brace. Then I've got up here, I've got the dampening material. <coughs> I mean, I'm sorry, <coughs> the ultimate material is now up, you know, is now put on the top side. And then <coughs> the ultimate material is hung down now this is the brace again like i said so there are voids in here and the reason why i'm hanging this uh, is actually to deal with an acoustical problem in the reflections and so the energy will actually go into the material goes to the the foam first <coughs> which is uh, lowers its resonance and then it has to go through the denning material which lowers it even lower so even at that point you you pretty much have wash it out but then there's a void between these two surfaces and then there's deadening material on the other side of that. So what we end up doing is, is we're capturing energy and, and, and dissipating the energy inside the door as best as possible. And the reason for that is, is that this is obviously going to be my enclosure. And so here you can see in the back also you can see where it's you know see it hangs you kind of you kind of see it in there but but it hangs down and what I'm doing is I'm covering, you know, as much as I possibly can throughout the entire door. Um, like I said, I got here already done. And then on the outside, I also got it, you know, done too. The reason for this, and this is a good example of it, this is a GM car, plastic. You can hear, you know, that little plastic rattling. So here I've got to fix that. I've got to take care of that and make sure that this doesn't rattle. Uh, because this energy coming from this 10 inch driver is going to be enormous. And so on top of everything, once I get all this done, everything closed up, this is going to be an actual panel that bolts on so you can get access to it. After that's done, inside here, I'm probably going to take like egg crate foam and put egg crate in here. Uh, because the only harness that you have is, is this harness here. So I'll probably egg crate all this so that when I go to put the panel on, I have the egg crate touching the panel to try to dissipate all the energy that the panel itself is going to produce. And then I'm going to probably put egg crate inside here behind this area, maybe. i got to make sure that the window track, uh, the window itself, 
uh, well, actually work still. I've got to put a lot of material in here, and I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've gotten rid of most of the void uh, that I have. But that's going to be the door. Uh, that's the proper way for you to do a door in terms of if you're using it for this kind of uh, cavity. I mean, it's really big. One of the things I also did was I deadened on the back side uh, too also. So not only is it deadened here on this side, it's deadened on the inside. So basically I've captured, you know, I've captured inside uh, the